Okay, this video is going to show you how to add center marks and center lines. So if you look at the knurled screw, there's a center mark there. If you look at the uh, side view, you have a center line. All of these parts have either center marks or center lines because they are all round parts. So how to add that? Uh, I've covered this in a couple other videos, but uh, just specifically that mark. We're going to go into Inventor, go to the Annotate tab. About three quarters of the way across, this is the center mark. This is the center line. In one case, we'll use a center line bisector. So start with center mark. Anything that round, touch that circle and it adds it. You want to touch the outer circles of uh, those round objects. Um, we're going to touch the outer circle. And that way we make sure that our center mark extends fully uh, beyond the part. Now, when we're down here on the beam, I touch the outer circle. You will note that this does not continue all the way through. So I'm also going to touch the inside circle there so I can extend that. And that's because of this flat cut that was in there. That's why that got cut off. So in that case, you want to touch both circles to make sure it extends fully. There is a little uh, circle here and it needs a center mark as well. That's that circle for the scriber to go through. That's the hole. So we've done all our center marks. Now we want to go up and touch our center lines. Center line. Um, we designate a start point and an end point, so this will snap to your midpoints. Start, click, and then end, left click, and then right click and create. So start and end points. We can do the same thing here with our head. Start, left click, end, left click, right click, and create. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here with our screw. We are starting on the end there. Left click, right click, create. And we have one running through our beam. Important that you start at the very end of the beam on the midpoint. Start. Pull all the way through. And you want to make sure you get the end point there. Click that, right click, and create. So you get your uh, line going, extending all the way through. That is placing... Uh, our center lines. Now there is a center line bisector that is required for this hole up here on the head. Okay, and um, I'm going to remove the one that's there and do it one more time for you. Delete that. Uh, the center line bisector bisects two lines. You want to designate those lines, this line and this line, and then that adds in your bisector mark. Okay. So that's placing center lines and center marks. Make sure you have all of the center lines and center marks that are on this drawing right here. 